I swapped over to the truck this morning. The van needs an MOT. Um, it's coming up for MOT, so uh, swapped over to the van. Got the uh, swapped over to the truck. Thought I bought everything, bar all the keys for the for the uh, forklift canteen container. So all our stuff's locked up. Luckily, I got some spare tools just to get by. <laughs> My dad's just literally driving back to go and get the keys. Donut. Uh, right, anyway, today's plan is uh, I've just got. It's uh, a lot of um, people with different opinions on the Flemish Bond. Obviously, it's just what everyone's been taught, but the information that I've come from is um, W. Nash, uh, which is literally like the Bricklayer's Bible. Um, you've got books one, two, and three, and it will literally show you pretty much how to build anything when it comes to brickwork. So uh, if you are a bricklayer and you haven't got your W Nash books, which I thought I had, um, but I can't find them anywhere. So I've had to reorder them. Um, it will literally show you anything you need to do. And in the book, it will it, it basically tells you that uh, you need, to, it shows you the bonds you need on your corners. Um, and, you know, that some people are saying use three quarters, but three quarters to me doesn't tend to look as good as a queen closure in a uh, Flemish bond. So um, it's per I suppose a three quarter and a queen closure could be a bit more pr personal preference. Uh, I have actually ended up with um, a three quarter next to my windows on the back side but it still will look okay because I've got a head a stretcher stretcher on the corners and then a um, three quarter three quarter so I still think it's gonna look good um, now with this here I've got a window set here so um, I'll need to I'm gonna set my bond through dry first and then I, what I do is I'll set my bond out dry first then I will set out where the window is, where the door is. This one's a little bit easier because I haven't got a plinth, I haven't got to worry about the 50 mil stepping, so I haven't got to keep an eye on that. Um, but I do need to uh, set, draw, draw where the window is on the on the on here, uh, and then I can see what I have to do with my bond. So I don't know. Let's say uh, my bond was I don't know here. Um, let's say the window was there. I would really, ideally, want to take that half out, put that there, move that over, move that over, and usually, if the window size is brickwork, it would end up so I'd have to move this brick here and this brick here, then I would come to the center of the window and make the broken bond, which would probably be, I don't know, Well, that, that don't work, but that was a bad demonstration. But um, you've got to, you've got to figure it out. Uh, it might even be double, I don't know, double header, tighten them up, three quarter, or, so, or something like that. But you have it does take a little bit of working out. Um, it's a shame that they don't do a more detailed. I mean, when the architect does the drawings, I think personally that they should. Um, Give you a detailed drawing on setting the bond out uh, because they put all the measurements up um, they do all the measurements so i think there's a little bit of a lazy side to the architects these days uh, i might be wrong but i don't find that anything tends there's not a lot of sites i go on anymore where everything tends to work bond basically uh, stretcher bond is the easiest bond in the world to sort out uh, and they don't even get that right sometimes. So Flemish bond and English bond, I, you know, I, I might be wrong, but uh, the drawings aren't very Pacific. So we'll see. Right, my dad's gone to get the tools. Tom's gone to, to start the mixer. It is 20 past seven. <coughs> um, <clears throat> we're, we're gonna start the mixers early and, until we get a complaint. Um, then it will be you know the late the earliest you can start will be eight but some people don't mind just starting early some people do so it will depend on the surrounding area 
Um, we're going to get this sorted. We're going to set the first bond out, uh, first course everywhere. Um, my dad's in today, so there's going to be blocks loaded all day, hopefully. What's over your face? Spare tools. They've got tape measure. <laughs> so we've got to wait for my dad to get back with the keys so we can get in the container. <sighs> I don't know. So we're going to load out for a minute. Is that it? Yes. drove back <laughs> got the keys come back and he's stuck in a is an overturned lorry <laughs> but luckily uh the the builder who we're doing this for is uh just literally popped in popped in and he had a spare key to grab the tools so i can get on with it uh we can't use the forklift but um we haven't got a delivery of blocks until next week so what we're gonna do i've had to quickly change what i'm doing well, I'm not shifting the blocks from over there onto there if they're loaded out for there. Cellcons no, right. internal, oh. yeah. But we can. What we do? What we're going to do is we're going to get the first. We're going to get this bit of brickwork done now. We're going to start getting the cellcon blocks set out first course everywhere, so it's done. And then we're just going to start making a start on the outside brickwork and block work. Oh, no, that's <laughs> that is concrete. Go get strong Amy out. Give some of them flexing. Give us a bit of that flexing, girl. No? Okay. Sorry? That's alright. It's two that I ain't got to do. <laughs> You'd have to go on the hod then, wouldn't you? Fucking do as you're told, girl. <laughs> right, let's crack on.
on it, that's why. <laughs> so I thought I'd just take this uh, opportunity to talk about um, ventilation underground and DPC because I did notice there's a few of you sort of questioning it yesterday. Because um, it's block and beam and because of how they've whoever's done this has done it, the only option we've got for the air vents is to go the way the beams are going. So the beams are going this way, which allows us to lift this block up. Um, you do have slips to close the uh, to close off the uh, wall, but I've just knocked mine off. Um, so it allows you to have room for this to move around as well, like that. Um, and you literally just, like that. And that'll be there like that. This will come up through here and out into the brickwork. Um, but as well, I thought I'd also talk to you about dams again. Um, this isn't finished floor. This isn't finished floor. Finished floor is here. Right. So what I've what I've done is I've gone up to under uh, to underside a DPC. So we've got a hundred mil damp on top of this. And then we've got a 600 damp that is stapled on from here, down like that, stapled against there, and it will be, and it will uh, come out to about here. Internal walls, it will be on the, uh, what do we do? What do, we do? We usually put it straight on the deck, the 600 damp. It'll be straight on the deck, laid flat, 600 damps. So that, that's what we're doing with the damps anyway. Because um, I know there's a few of you questioning it. So yeah, I just thought I'd clear that up. Uh, so yeah, we've just got one, one air vent there. Because that's the only, we, we're, we're literally governed by the beams. We can't actually help where we're putting it. Otherwise, I would have liked to have centered it better and made them look the same. But I can't help it if a beam is where it is and they're different on these sides so it's going to look slightly different it's not going to look symmetrical which is a pain in the ass but uh that's what it is so anyway let's back on mate <laughs> top one yeah right top one mm -hmm. What? You going in, are you? Yeah, well, it would look nice if you got every all the blocks collected up and got them in the stacks and had a little nice little sweep up and just made it look pretty at the end of each day, you know. It's just like, you see like rubble laying around like that and all that, it just don't look professional, you know what I mean? So just, okay. just get okay. all the tools in one place, all the fucking rubbish in one place, yeah? Please. You know what's going off here. Fucking top driver.
Fucking top driver, look. Top driver. Oh, right, pull it back. That's it. Right, and pull it towards you and it'll, go, and it'll hook it up. Pull it towards, pull it, pull this towards you. That's it. Push it away from you, it'll hook it down. That's it. <laughs> but try not to pull it back as you're doing it because you can do both at the same time. So if you go at, like, if you go up to the right, go forward but to the right, it'll put boom forward, it'll go down and, yeah. Look at it as yeah. a clock. Right I'm now, too to now go put your foot, put your no, foot no, down. No, go no, on, no, no, just no, drive no. forward. Go on, just drive forward. Just drive. Which one's the brake, Tom? The left one. The left one. So so that, put that, that in. Push that P down. So I put the, the right brake on first. It's on park. It's on park. So hit, hit the brake. It's on neutral. Right. Now what? Now what? Now with the brake part. Do I put the brake down? No, you, 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 you won't go anywhere. You're not going to stick. That's it. Let's go forward. What? No, just literally flick that, and you'll go there. Push it forward. Where? No. no, no, it's literally just the red one. Now you're going forward. Now put it on the right one. On the right one. <laughs> <laughs> go on then, go! <laughs> 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 no horn. Huh? No horn. <laughs> Is that enough? Now stick it in reverse, look. That's it. There you go, now go. Now look, you got a, you got a camera there, look. You got a camera there, you got mirrors there, and there, look. So if you want to go, if you want to, if you want it to come round this way, you'll spin it this way, yeah. yeah but we don't because we don't want to go on that pop up. Yeah, but you you do want to spin it a little bit. Go on, spin it a little bit. There you go. Right, go backwards. All right, now straighten it up. That's it. No, you don't. No, no, you're going too far. Is that straight? What's straight? That's straight. straight and there you go. That's go not on. straight. No, you don't want to go straight. That's it. That's it. Go on, go back. Now straighten up a little bit. There you go. That's straight. There you go. Go on. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Here I come! Fucking hell, top driver! Alright, off you go, out you get, get back to How it. How do I turn it off? Game's over, turn it off. Neutral. That's it, yeah, handbrake up. Where's the handbrake? That. That's the handbrake. Yeah, park, put it in park. Put it in park. Turn it off. But I can get off the brake? Yeah. And then how do I turn the engine off? Just turn it off. Yeah, done. <laughs> Did you all see that? I just drove the ball again. <laughs> that was cool. I can do that easy. You reckon you can do it easy, do you? I can do that. I reckon. You want to pick? I don't. I don't think we'll go that far today. I think we'll just yeah. we'll leave that today. <laughs> right, as I was. So let's have a look. So what we got? We've got more than a block. So that means I want to lay a full block this way first. <clears throat> what? Was that fun for you, oh, was it? Fun. I was too scared. <laughs> you came over and I did it. <laughs> so I told, no, no, I can't. <laughs> 385. 385. Uh, now what we got? Let's have a look. 360. 360. Block split right rear, is it? Yeah, 10 miles away. <laughs> you don't look bad for 50, mate. Oh, that's fucking... What's going on my GoPro? Hope you're not going to put that on fucking uh, put the world wide web. 
What your fucking tits out? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're beautiful, Dad. You're more beautiful. tits than a racing rhino. More tits than a racing rhino. Okay, that is all the setting out done. Um, well, most of it, sorry. I've, I'm gonna leave this down. I'm not even gonna do anything with this, just so it's easy access. I don't wanna be building this up and make it hard work to get in. So this and the chimney will be the last thing that I build um, on the outside when I do the outside. Uh, um, I haven't been able to... <laughs> Uh, it's not this isn't they're not solid rooms obviously um, I should technically have the drawer uh, the doors put in now even though this is finished floor level so you'll have insulation and your screed um, even though the screed comes up to here they still like to see it open for the doors but um, I'm only going off of a drawing on my phone at the minute so because I'm going off of my phone uh, the uh, architect hasn't um, given, he's given me the measurements for the internal walls, but he hasn't given me any measurements for the doors uh, or anything like that. So, 
So I've got to wait. I'm waiting for the um, uh, A1. Is it A1? A3, A1, fuck knows. The drawings uh, to come over, the proper drawings to come over so I can scale off of them. Um, and I'll just cut the doors out. Uh, so yeah, then the, the, this will be a bit smaller of a door, but I just put a full block, full block, because I'm not, I don't want to guess it. Uh, it's probably an 850 door or 900 door or something, usually somewhere around that. And there'll be a door in here somewhere. Um, I don't think there is a door in here though. I think that I've got to cut the doors out at the back here, but um, I've also I've got a bit of messing about here to do as well. Uh, I'm not I can't do anything without the drawing and <coughs> Again, this will be a rack back a rack back uh, and then I'll once I've built the actual chimney on the outside, then I'll finish this bit. Uh, what was I gonna say? Uh, yeah, so we are pretty much loaded for the outside, everywhere. Um, might need a bit of a top up, I'm not sure yet. Um, it's got hearth and uh, brickwork around the back, it's all loaded. Uh, all loaded through here. There's a bit of a bull lake here. Thomas! Right. Uh, we ain't got this little bit loaded here yet though. That's the only thing we ain't done. Um, Tom's uh, just having a bit of a bull lake. Tom's getting used to the forklift. He's much better in it today. He's only his third day in it, so got to grin and bear it. Um, everything's just, a, it wasn't very well, everything wasn't very well placed for us to get to. So it's been moving this here, moving that there, moving this, moving this. But we're getting around, we're getting there. Uh, Oh, but yeah, we're done. We're done for the day. We're gonna actually come in tomorrow. Um, I've got a little, my little girl, but my dad's gonna. We're literally just gonna come in um, till about ten o'clock tomorrow, because there's just a couple of little bits. Uh, my dad wants to have Livy for an hour or two on his own, so uh, me and Amy are just gonna pop in and do a little bit, do a bit of recording. So you have got something to look forward to tomorrow if you are enjoying watching this build. Oh, we're not coming in now. But what are we doing tonight? Chilling. Chilling? No, oh, but... Fish and chip Friday. Fish and chip Friday. Yeah, Gil. <laughs> Come on then. What? Come on then. What? That fucking cheesy grin you've got, huh? Mm. You bend over on camera, for fuck's sake. Better, better edit that out. You were fucking oh, that. Yeah. I can see you staring at it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, yeah. Right, see you in tomorrow.